Hello, I'm Ashley from Through the Loop Yarncraft, and today we are going to make the Fairbrook scarf. The Fairbrook scarf has been one of my most popular patterns, and I'm very excited to finally get the chance to make the video tutorial for it. I love the Fairbrook scarf because it is good for both men and women, young and younger, and it just it's perfect for anyone that you gift to. It can be made with one skein of the Bernat Premium or even Super Saver, so it's great for charity makes as well, and it has the gorgeous texture to it that works for all types of yarn. For the full size scarf, which is about 50 inches long and 10 inches wide, I've used about 360 yards of number four worsted weight yarn which again is about one skein of the Bernat Premium, as well as the six millimeter crochet hook. And I, of course, am using my Furl's Odyssey, and I just received the new iris color, and I just am loving it. The skill level for this pattern is intermediate because we will be using the front po post double crochet stitch, but once you get the hang of that one, it's super easy to do. As we work back and forth in rows and not length, we work widthwise to get the length. It is really easy to adjust the length and you are able to make it shorter or longer. While you're here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe and like button to let me know that you're liking this tutorial and you'll always get notifications when I have new tutorials out. So if you're as ready as I am, let's grab our supplies and make the Fairbrook scarf. Okay, so to begin, we are going to start with a chain of 28. So let's go ahead and chain away. Okay, so I've got my chain of 28 and we are ready for row one. So to begin, we are going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across. So first, second, so we will half double crochet and keep going all the way across with just your half double crochet. And we will want a total of 27 half double crochet. Finished up with that 27th half double crochet and we've got row one. So now we will chain one and turn and begin row two. So row two is a simple half double crochet row. So we're just going to half double crochet in that first stitch right under the chain and in each stitch across again. So just continue that and I will meet you right back here.
So there's 26. And for the last one, we're going to go right in that chain for 27. And we will chain one and turn to begin row three. So row three is where we are going to start working with the front post double crochets. So we're going to begin with a half double crochet in this first stitch right below the chain. And then a half double crochet in the next two stitches. And this time we are going to do a front post double crochet around this half double crochet right here. So quick for those who aren't familiar with the front post double crochet, we are going to be inserting our hook just under the post of the stitch underneath. So just like that. And then completing the double crochet. So we will yarn over, go around that stitch, yarn over, pull that through and up to make it even. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through. Now we will make three more half double crochets in the next three stitches. We want to be careful that behind this front post double crochet here is a, the top loops of the stitch. We don't, we want to skip that one because we used the post instead of the two loops. So we're going to move over to this one here. So we're going to half double crochet in the next three stitches. And now we're going to do another front post double crochet and it will be in this post right here. And again, half double crochet in the next three stitches. And front post double crochet. Perfect. So we will just continue that all the way across with three half double crochet and a front post double crochet. And I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I just finished my last front post double crochet and we will just finish this row with three half double crochet. Beautiful. So now we will chain one and turn for row four. Now row four and row five are going to be our repeat rows. So after we do these two, the rest of the scarf is just repeating row four and row five until your desired length. For my finished scarf that I made, I did a total of 122 rows. But as I said earlier, the length is easily adjustable to whatever you prefer. So for row four, it's just half double crochet and each stitch across. And again, we want a total of 27 stitches for each row.
And there I am finishing off the last stitch of row four. As you can see, this is what we would consider the back of the scarf. It's not going to have those raised stitches like the other side. So now we will chain one and turn for row five. Row five, the second of our repeating rows is the front post double crochet row. So we will again start with three of our half double crochets. And this time, our front post double crochets are going to look a little bit different and they're actually easier to do. So we're instead of going around this post here, we're actually going to go around in behind the front post double crochet below. So it's a little easier to get in there and easier to see as well. You want to be careful for these ones for not doing a half double crochet in the stitch behind. Instead, we will be moving over to this one. So we're going to yarn over and front post double crochet. You want to wiggle that yarn up around that post there. And that way they're linking. And then we're going to do half, three half double crochets again. So remember to skip that stitch behind the post. And three. And we'll front post double crochet again around this one. Turn it over, right behind there. Wiggle that yarn up. Yarn over. Pull through two and pull through two. And just repeat that. for row five and three. And that completes your row five. And a little trick to this is you want to keep your tension when you're doing the front post double crochets a little looser. And so the yarn pulls up a little bit better when you're going around that post. So again, moving on to row six, it is a repeat of row four, which was just the half double crochet across. And then we will go back to row five, which was the one we just completed with the front post double crochet around the front post double crochet below. And we will continue that until you have the length you want. And that's all there is to it for this one. You just want to keep going. And then once you have your length, that's all. So once you have the length you want, you can tie off your yarn and weave in all your ends and that's all there is to it. So here is the original completed one I did um, all the way to the end. Super simple and the repeats just come easier and easier as you go. I did look for more of this nice dark green, but I settled for the pine because I couldn't find this one anymore, but they're both going to look fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed making the Fairbrook scarf with me. If you would like the free written pattern, you can find that over on my blog and that is linked below as well as you always have the option for the 
premium PDF that you can grab on Ravelry or Etsy. If you loved this pattern and following along with this tutorial as much as I do, please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and let me know. And you can always find the link below to subscribe to The Loop newsletter where I send exclusive freebies and offers just for those on the list. Thank you so much again. I'm so glad to crochet with you today and I will see you next time. Bye.